on our Sunday night night, we play the Amateur Radio News Line. The Amateur Radio News Line is produced by a group. It used to be done mostly by Bill Pasternak, who passed to a silent key now, but that was his one of his uh, donations to the hobby, his contributions to the hobby. He would put together a news line, which pulled together news from various aspects of the amateur radio community, from the satellite community, from, he's got a segment in there for DX and uh, public service, and he tries to get all sorts of different segments of the amateur radio uh, happenings and pulls, try to pull together, and he gets uh, contributions from all over the world. We'll uh, call in, and he'll, he'll, but he, there has to be one person sort of pull this together. And we find out after his death that Bill he that would make up the cost if donate is all done by donations. It's not paid staff, and if the donations fell short, Bill would uh, supplicate, sub, provide the needed uh, missing revenue from his own pocket. So uh, this is a worthy thing. So we, since we use it quite a bit. I think we're trying to put an item in our budget this year too to donate to the Amateur Radio News Line uh, to support this because we do use it quite a bit. It is informative. A lot of people do listen, dial in, and just uh, listen to it. So that's it. So we go ahead and they make it publicly available. The uh, I'll show you the site. You can just search for News Line. Everything's through Google these days. So they've got AmateurRadioNewsLine.org site. It's pretty nice, and they've actually got a video out here you can watch as well. Uh, but we go ahead and pull down, and there's already, you go to, down there is the uh, script, there's the script, and there's the audio, and we simply right click, and we save a link, and we'll save it to our computer here, it's uh, report 2096, each week it's going to be 2097, 2098, um, let's see, I'll write it down, but downloaded and then we have a program called and it's just a straight mp3 file okay, so, let me bring up, so we use this program called audacity it's a free program okay and we'll go ahead and open up the file here it is the 2096 okay it takes a few seconds to load Newsline report 2096. Now it's hard to sort of figure out what's going on here. You have to have a mo. I can s uh, expand it. Right, this one. So now, now here's the time. Here's 0, 5, 10, 15, 20 seconds along the top, and you can see. So here's my. We'll start playing from the beginning again. Amateur Radio Newsline report 2096 with a release date of Friday, December 29th, 2017, to follow in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The following. So that first part is what we usually clip off. We don't play that on the air. Sometimes they have announcements in there. When they're doing their fundraising, they sort of put a little uh, uh, pre message in there, talks about here's what we need. Uh, we usually don't play that part over the air. But Okay, so then the other thing you've got to do is you notice the requirement that you station IDs every 10 minutes, right? 10 minutes or less. So you, by expanding this, we sort of scroll along here, and you'll see at about the 9, 10 minute mark, they've left the space. And we start playing here. Where is my pointing tool right here? Hold on. Change tools. Okay, and if you, so here's the, you'll hear the, so you're used to hearing this. Here in Cookville, Tennessee, on Tuesday, so, City. So here's the, oh, I did. So they do talk about a, a site each night. They said, here's, uh, you, you hear Including this. Including the Cookville Repeater Association's W4HPL repeater in Cookville, Tennessee, on Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. So it turns out, I did just submit our KB3B repeater to say, hey, we put, they want to know which sites are playing the news line and when you play it. So I did go ahead and submit us and say we play your news line between 7 and But anyway, so we should be listening for it and see if we get a plug in here one night. But uh, anyway, what has to happen then is that there's the... Including the Cookville Repeater Association's W4HPL repeater in Cookville, Tennessee, on Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. And what you're supposed to 
supposed to do at this point is insert your own safe sign of medication, right? And then they resume. While community service amateur radio isn't about recognition and pride. All right, so obviously we want to get rid of the bleeps there, the tone. So we'll go back here a second. We kind of select this area. And up here there's generate, and we want to generate silence. It basically replace that, those tones with no sound. So now we got this. 30 p.m. Central Time. Now it's good, dead quiet. Okay, so this is where we'll insert our station identification. Uh, well, now I do have a nice uh, headset mic. It helps I have a better mic. I'm just going to use the lap mic, so it's a little noisy, but you'll get the idea. But what we'll do is go here, and we're going to, this is a new tool in here, so we going to shift insert, shift record. Record the track, shift record, okay. So I'll go ahead and record a new track starting here. This is, I didn't get it, hold on. This is a new feature on this thing. It allows you to record, add, append to the existing file. But if I don't hold the control down right, it's gonna mix it. So you've gotta hold the control, the control shift. Record new track, shift R. Okay, shift, I'm hold the shift on right. This is WA3SWJ. We'll stop it. Okay, so now we've got, you we play it here. On Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. This is WA3SWJ. And then you see there's all this dead time and stuff, so that's a little annoying. So let's go ahead and clip that out. Well, community service amateur. So we'll say from here, all the way over to here. We want to cut that out. Edit, cut. So I just want to get rid of this little tape on that too, so I'm not going to get in there. Okay, so now we've got a. Peter in Cookville, Tennessee, on Tuesdays at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. This is WA3SWJ. Well, community service am. Okay, now you see the audio. What's nice about making a second track here, you can see the audio is my mic is different from there. Sometimes you'll notice when they record the news line, this is a pretty nice vibe. They did a nice job setting the audio levels of this one. Sometimes we get it, the audio levels are really low, we try to pump it up. So they do have controls here to let you adjust the, the track's audio volume. So I'm gonna, mine sound a little low, so I'm gonna turn mine up a little bit. Again, just so you're not, people are listening to the thing, and suddenly it's real quiet, and then you come blasting out with the ID, or vice versa. So let's see that It's at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. This is WA3SWJ. Okay. Well, two, community service. Went too far there, so we'll turn it down. All right, but you got the idea. You're trying to make it just so it's not as jarring. Central time. This is WA3SWJ. All right, so what? that's some of the tweaking we do. And then just at the end, just in case I, if I'm not right, <coughs> I'm not paying attention or get lost in thought, I do at the end, and that was that piece we put on, actually, let's get rid of that. That was us. You know, I do tend to put with the cursor here again, do the shift. This is WA3SWJ returning to net control. And so that would wrap up our news line. You see each one is a track and then you can control the volume separately. And it's copyright 2017. All rights reserved. This is WA3SWJ returning to net control. All right, so that's the editing process they have to do through that. And sometimes uh, when I get to uh, come back on Sunday and I get a scrambled call from Fred or if I hadn't picked up my messages. So sometimes you can do this while they're doing the uh, check-ins. Uh, the last thing to do, again, is now we're ready to put it on the air. And so up here, they allow you to select both the, you know, the microphone, where it's going to get the audio, and where the audio goes. Oh, let me do one more thing before I jump ahead. There's one more thing that I do tend to, you know, we can always, we can always hear faster than we can understand faster than we do normal speech. So they actually let you speed up the playback. So I typically do that a little bit, too. And you, you can really tell the difference, but it does shorten it out a little bit. And, <laughs> I heard every word. <laughs> Sorry. From around the world, this is Newsline, amateur radio's independent on the air news and bulletin service. All right, so that's what we do there. All right, so then the last thing is you then route it over. If you have a uh, one of these signaling box, it shows up as a USB speaker, and you point it to it. I've got an interface to my HT over here. Does anyone have an HT on, their, on the repeater turned on? No one brought an HT. 
All right, so I figured it wouldn't be a ham radio demo without uh, putting out RF. So uh, here's the, so essentially, but we'll go ahead and play it. What happened? From around the world. So let's switch over, we're gonna switch over to the USB, and that's essentially do that. And you'll see the push to talk light comes on. One thing I noticed, I've been switching back and forth between doing the news line or some of the digital modes, I do turn up the delay uh, quite a bit because it's when they switch between reporters, sometimes there's a delay, so you don't want the repeater to drop out. Then we can just play. Oh, good. Someone's got it. Not going to go to the cover. All right, so that's it. So let me stop here and just announce that I was testing. And that drops back out. Just in case I got it. Did I hit the repeater at all? This is WA3 SWJ completing some testing. All right, so that's all, the, uh, that's all there is to it. And then. Uh, we don't really say you don't. You can save the project if you want, but we did. We don't, don't need it for anything. Uh, then that's, so that's all there is to it. So it's really pretty straightforward to do. Uh, any questions or so we get some volunteers that will do it. Uh, you might just pull it down and practice it sometime. As I said, sometimes either Fred can't do it or I'm out of town and they have a call for you know is anyone able to do the news line? So I'm hoping you guys who have your things interface can uh, jump in now and just you know feel free to pull it. You can pull it down anytime and practice and uh, do the editing. All right. Well, that's it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, probably a, an ignorant question, but what about so you're transmitting for like sometimes these are 18 to 20 minutes, so you're 100% duty on your transmitter? Yes. No problem with that? Yeah, I, well, Tim, I'm, I'm around here because it's repeated. I can run about 5 or 10 watts. I, I've got a 2 meter antenna on my So it's pretty low power. Uh, that's maybe the good something to consider is uh, uh, don't need a lot of how much power you need to get to the antenna, yeah. What was the name of that uh, editing program again? It's called Audacity. Audacity. No. It's Audacity. for taking audio tape and digitizing it. I've never saw it do this. Yeah, well, play also toy. You can edit it, combine tracks. It's a it's pretty nice little. Yeah, it's free. I know it's that. It's free. And they just put out a new release that I'm not used to. So be, they do, as it said, legend, append to an existing track, which is that's a new feature. Uh, you see, this is mono. It will handle stereo too. If there's a left and right channel, one a couple times on the news line, they send out two channels. Now, so we only play on one, so it can convert back and forth and make one channel. That's a fun little tool to play with. And if you had a Mac, uh, Apple's GarageBand would let you do this as well for free. Yeah, that Mac would work just as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then probably, is, and honestly, I think has a Mac version, but you probably already have GarageBand on your Apple already installed. Again, these signaling boxes, I think they're just under $100, unless they've dropped in price. Oh, they're on sale now for under 75 bucks. Wow, that's really? terrific. Who is that signaling? signaling? Signaling. They're really easy to interface. They've got essentially a plug matrix inside them. So you interfacing to a radio is pretty simple because you simply, they tell you, well, put, you know, put a jumper here for your mic, put a jumper here for your audio in, your audio out. So they've got a little plug matrix in there. So it's, it's very straightforward. I've been using it for several, several years, couple of years now. But when you order it, they usually ask you what cable you want. Like. Yeah, if you want to, they're very, you make your own cable, like what's like down here. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. And if you have an existing cable that goes to one of these RHS 49, as I said, you can adjust the pinouts because of that plug matrix. But yeah, I know there's a lot of people who have a lot of money on those cables. Yeah, Tom? When you order it for a minor amount of money, you can get a previously built pinout that plugs into the header now. Oh, okay. The, the header is already three wired. By the radio, and you plug that thing yeah. into the header, and it's exactly correct. Great. You yeah. can't make yeah, some clever design there. So it's, 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 it works for that. And then if you go ahead and get it, you can use it for all the digital modes. Then you're set up for PSK and MJT9 and all the new digital modes too. So it's, it's a handy little box. It will work on FM and US and all your SSB. And again, some of the newer radios have the audio interface built right into them too. So all right, well that was it. So I look for some new uh, newsline playback volunteers next time we put the call out. Thank you very much.